just adjusting my camera here. There we go. So um, we did uh, that the vacuum chamber demo, and this is my explanation for what's going on inside at the atomic level of our vacuum chamber. So I, I have drawn on my board a beautiful marshmallow uh, with all of the atoms shown inside. The black dots that are really close together are supposed to be the solid of the marshmallow because marshmallow is some solid. But then hopefully you know that one of the things that makes the marshmallow unique is that it has these little air pockets all over. Of course, there's a lot more of them than I drew, but in blue here are a couple little air pockets with air inside of them. It turns out that this pressure volume uh, relationship really works best with air, especially because for our purposes, we're saying that solids and liquids are not compressible, don't change volumes very easily. And then outside of your marshmallow, you also have air particles flying around. So this is like my marshmallow before I put it in the vacuum chamber. And in this scenario, the air particles on the outside are moving around. They're bumping into the marshmallow from the outside. And the particles on the inside are also bumping into the marshmallow from the inside. And in a normal room at normal pressures, those two things cancel out and the marshmallow stays in its normal shape. It doesn't get all stretched out or compressed or anything like that. But what my vacuum chamber did, what it literally did is it was sucking out all of the air, all of it. And I can't quite get all of it, actually. Uh, my vacuum chamber is not powerful enough, but I can get pretty, pretty, pretty darn close. And um, as you remove these outside air particles that stop running into the outside of the marshmallow, pushing in to the marshmallow as often, then it's able to expand. These inside um, pockets of air actually try to expand because there's not as much pressure going in on them. And they push the solid parts of the marshmallow out so that the marshmallow grows in size. So once again, the volume, the volume of the solid doesn't actually change. It's the volume of these inner air particles, air pockets that change in the marshmallow. And it was the same thing in the shaving cream and then even more uh, direct in the balloon, since the balloon's only filled with air. It was the air was moving outwards to accommodate for that less external pressure. Pressure and volume are inverse. When pressure goes up, volume is going to go down. So once I take the air particle off of, or the air chamber, vacuum chamber <laughs> off, and the air particles come back in, well, then they're able to push it back down to its original shape or about. And if I were to take the air particles out again, then it expands out as there's more pressure on the inside. So there's your explanation of the vacuum chamber demos. Hope that makes sense, or at least somewhat sense. There are, one of our learning targets is about the pressure volume relationship. Uh, so you would be expected to know that relationship for the test. Thank you very much, and that is it.